Hello, my amazing students. I'm so proud of you for even just logging on right now and showing your motivation to learn. This is amazing. Hang in there. You can do it. Remember, have your notebook in hand. Let's go ahead and write down our title. We're going to be on chapter one from Go Math, lesson two, Common Core State Standards, CC6 and S for number sense, four. Our objective, what is it that you're trying to get from this lesson? What can you say you can do at the end of this lesson? You're going to be able to say, I can write the prime factorization of a number. That is your goal. Your goal is to be able to write prime factorization of a number. But before we even can do prime factorization of any number, you have to know your vocabulary. If you know your vocabulary, it will be much easier to follow the lesson. So the first word or term that I need you to make sure you learn for chapter one, apart from divisor, dividend, and quotient, is the word, uh, the terms prime numbers. What are prime numbers? Well, prime numbers are, it's a number that can be divided by one or itself, only be divided by one or itself. So some examples are the number two, the number three, the number five. You cannot divide two by any number except for two or one. There's no other number that can divide into it evenly, okay? Same thing with three. You can only divide three by three or one. There's nothing else you can divide it by. That means if you think about using multiples, that means that only, or, or what numbers you can multiply to get three is one times three gives you three or three times one gives you three, but there's nothing else you can multiply with to get three. So three is a prime number. Five is a prime number. Let's test out five. One times five is five, or five times one is five, but there's nothing else you can multiply to get five. Same thing with using division. Five divided by five is one, and five divided by one is five, but there's nothing else you can divide five with other than itself or one. This is what you call a prime number. Composite numbers. Composite numbers can be divided by other digits other than itself or one. So some examples, four, six, nine, 10, 12. Any number that can be divided by other numbers except for besides itself, other than itself, and one is a composite number. So four divided by four is one. And four divided by one is four. But guess what? I can also do four divided by two. And four divided by two is two. So that means there's other numbers other than four and one that go into four. This makes it composite, not prime. What about six? Six divided by one is six. And six divided by six is one. But guess what? There's other numbers that can divide into six. Six divided by two is three. And six divided by three is two. So there's other numbers that divide into six. Therefore, six is called a composite number. Now that we're clear with these terms, we can start to do prime factorization. It's so much fun. We do something called a factor tree. Let me find my eraser. We're going to start I hope you wrote down the vocabulary and the definition in your notebook neatly with the examples. Don't forget to pause or rewind the video if you need to do this. 180 is the number. Now I have to think, well, I have to think, is this number prime a composite? I have to think of my divisibility rules. And my goal is to do prime factorization. So I'm gonna do a factor tree. Before I even start, I look at this number and I see it ends with a zero. So guess what? Right away I know it can be divided by 10. It's a multiple of 10 because it ends with zero. So this is already, I know it's a composite number. My goal is to factor it out, use prime factorization all the way till I have prime numbers where you can't factor any more. So we're gonna put a little arrow right above 180 and we're gonna to start to decompose this number. Decompose means break it down. I know that 
a number times 10 gives me 180. Well, I said something times 10 gives me 180. What times 10? If I take away the zero, I get my lucky number. It's 18. That's a little trick. 18 times 10 gives me 180. Using divisibility rules will really help you. Another way I could have done this, because there's many ways you can do this, is to divide by two. I know if a number ends with zero, it's divisible by two. So I could have also tried 180 divided by two. That's another way. In fact, you know what? We're gonna do it right here on the side and we'll go back to that, 180. I know two is a multiple because 180 is an even number. We'll come back to that one to show you that there's many different ways to do your prime factorization. But let's go back to our original. 18 times 10 gives me 180. So I'm starting to break or decompose my number. I'm always gonna move from left to right when I'm decomposing the numbers. Let's focus on 18. I have to break down 18 until I just have prime numbers. 18 is a composite number because there's not a lot of numbers that can break up 18. The multiples, there's a lot of multiples of 18. So what times what gives me 18? I hear you say it, you're thinking, aren't you? There's many different ones. I could do two times nine, right? I could do three times six. I could do 18 times one, but that's not gonna take me anywhere. How about I do eight, uh, nine times two? Let's write down nine times two. You could have done six times three. If you wrote that down, that's understandable, but you have to break it down other ways. But follow me along since we're doing an example. Stick to my right. Keep always to your right till you get all your prime numbers. Let's break down nine. Let's decompose nine. Three times three gives me nine. I'm not gonna write nine times one because it's not gonna help me. It's gonna take me back to, to, to just have to find the um, prime numbers, the, the multiples of nine. So three times three, go to my right. I mean, to my far left. Um, three. Is three prime a composite? You got it. It's prime. Because there's nothing I can multiply to give me three other than three times one. So I'm just going to leave it as three. And I'm going to actually circle when I'm done. That's a prime number. This is a prime number. Now I can stop moving towards my left to solve the other, uh, decompose the other numbers. Two. Is there anything I can multiply two with? to give me two other than two and one. No, because two times one is two and one times two is two. So that's it, it's a prime number, I can circle it, I'm done here. How about 10, let's go to 10. Yes, it's composite. Why is it composite? Because two times five gives me 10. So two times five. Now I'm gonna move to my left and see if I can decompose or break down that number. Two, we learned over here that two is a prime number. I'm gonna circle it, I'm done with that. Five, can I break down five anymore? No, five is prime. So I'm all done with my prime factorization of 180. All the numbers that I circled, I'm gonna rewrite them and I'm gonna square them off and I'm gonna double check my work to make sure it equals 180. Three times three, I check these off to make sure I'm including them. Times two, check it off, times this two, Check it off, times five, check it off. Square it out. And I'm gonna double check my work because this all should be multiplied and I should be able to get 180. If you wanna use your calculator to double check your work, that's perfectly fine with me. Let's try to do it though. Three times three is nine, keep that in your head. Nine times two is 18. 18 times two is 36. And now 36 times five, Mrs. Roman can't do that in her head, so I'm just gonna do it on the side. 36 times five. Five times six is 30. Five times three is 15 plus three is 18, 180. And that's what I have up here, 180. Way to go. We did it. All right, let's go back to when we were originally doing this problem and I told you that there's many ways to do prime factorization for one number. We had 180 and we 
decompose it, we broke it down, 18 times 2. These are two digits that multiply to get 180. But then we discussed how there's another way, okay? So I can also see this number 180, and I know my divisibility rules, and I know that 2 times something is me 180, because this is, ends with a 0, and if a number ends with a 0, that means it's an even number, and if it's an even number, I know it can be divided by 2. So 2 times something. Well, let's block out the 0 and look at 18. This is a little trick. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So I'm going to write that down. And if eight, 2 times 9 is 18, well, guess what? 2 times 90 gives me 180. Now I can continue to do my prime factorization, decomposing the numbers. Start on your far left. 2. Is 2 prime or composite? It's prime. There's nothing else I can divide it by other than 2 or it's uh, two or 1. Um, so it's just prime. I'm going to circle it. I'm done. Let's go to the 90. Can you break down the 90 some more? Yes, there's two ways I can do it. I can look at this number and think this is a tough number. It has a 0 at the end. Um, let's ignore the 0. Let's cover up the 0. What times what gives me 9? 3 times 3 gives me 9. So I can totally do 3 times 30. And 3 times 30 will give me 90. Those of you that really love math, you might have been thinking, Mrs. Roman, 45 times 2 gives me 90. And you're absolutely right. And you could have de continued to decompose those numbers and do 45 times 2 and then break down 45. I'm going to go this route. There's so many routes you can take. 3 is a prime number. I'm going to circle it. I can't break it down anymore. Move to my right. 30. I can break it down. 15 times 2 gives me 30. Stay on my left. 15. Can we break it down? Yes. What times what gives me 15? Oh, 3 times 5 gives me 15. Stick to my left. 3. 3 is prime. I can circle it. I'm all done here. What about 5? It's also prime. Only 5 times 1 or 1 times 5 gives me 5. There's nothing else I can multiply to get 5 or there's nothing else I can divide it with. So circle it. That means it's prime. Let's move to our right. The 2. Don't forget about the 2. 2 is prime. We learned that earlier from the previous problem. So I'm just going to circle it. I'm all set with finding all my prime numbers that should build up to 180. Let's write it down. 2. Check. 3 check another three check another uh, five times five check and times two check all of these numbers should be multiplying to get 180 now notice these look like the same numbers i have here just in a different order i have three and three over here i have a three and a three two and two i have a two here and a two here and a five and a five that's interesting if i multiply them all will i get 180 i should Let's try. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 times 2 is 36. And 36 times 5, I learned earlier, is 180. So yes, I'm absolutely right. I'm going to square off my final answer. Boys and girls, that is how we do prime factorization. Good luck. Make sure that you rewind, you pause on the video wherever you need to be, to learn how to do prime factorization.